Hey guys, how's it going tonight? Hope everyone is uh, doing well. I haven't been able to post uh, any videos the last couple of days just because uh, a lot of stuff going on with uh, the business I've just started up and also uh, I'm in the process of moving. So um, this week I'm hoping to get uh, kind of back, back on track. I was aiming to kind of be uploading four or five videos a day. Uh, but anyways, yeah, what I want to show you in this one is how to make custom materials in Lumion. Now, not necessarily just importing the materials. Uh, I'm actually going to show you the two different folders that Lumion saves uh, its materials in. Now, kind of the, the summary is that if you make a custom material and you save it, it gets put into the uh, it gets put in a Lumion uh, folder in your documents, I think. Um, and so you can kind of rearrange stuff in there. You can kind of get that to work. But what I'm actually going to show you how um, or how to do is actually bring those textures and put them into Lumion's uh, native material library and also how to remove some of the textures that you may not be using. Um, the reason why I think this is helpful is especially if you have like a team of like 10 people, then if you have like a hundred polygon textures and you convert them all and you put them in Lumion, then, you know, you're not kind of sifting through uh, maybe some of the lower resolution ones that Polygon has. You can have uh, exactly the kind of uh, textures that you want to be showing. So we're going to hop right into that. Um, this is a pretty cool trick. Uh, some people may think that it's kind of pointless, um, but I do think that if you're willing to kind of spend the time to get into it and uh, organize things correctly, then uh, I think that this could be a huge help. Uh, this is only, this is going to be the first video I make. Uh, I'm going to make a second video kind of following this one up where I focus on models and how you can kind of organize the models a little bit better inside of Lumion. Um, but to start, what we're going to do is we're going to load... Oh, no, I don't want to load this one, sorry. We want to go to the examples and the village Cabrera. Now, as I mentioned, there's... Polygon has some good materials, but they also have a lot of ones that, you know, they're like 1K carpet textures. Um, and in my opinion, you should only ever be using 1K if it's kind of far away from the camera. And there's not a lot of scenes where you're going to have a carpet that is really far away. So uh, we'll change this one for now. So uh, typically what you would do is if you had a texture that you'd save, you'd save it into this uh, folder here. And that does work. Um, it's just not, I just don't like doing it that way because I find I actually have like, you know, if you, uh, your wood floors in the wood floor uh, category, like in indoor, I find that way easier to maneuver around. Um, so yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll do that now. So you're just going on to open up your standard material. As I said, this is pretty straightforward for this part. Now I've already gone through and I've actually created a, uh, a texture already where I've just kind of messed around with a few um, with with a few things in Photoshop. So I just got this one to start with. Um, this is a paid uh, polygon material, but just for the purpose of the video, I didn't think that that would matter too much. I am going to show you a free one after and just kind of what the difference is. Since I believe that all of polygons... Um, all of Polygon's free textures are in Lumion for the most part. I could be wrong about that, but the majority of them are. Um, and they're either in there as a 1K or 2K um, texture resolution. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is just going to scale this down a little bit, maybe like right here. Uh, I'm going to pull in a Targa map, and that's something I've gone through in a couple of other videos, but I basically just made a gloss mask by putting the gloss map inside of the uh, normal, uh, normal Maps alpha channel. So yeah, we'll bring that in. Uh, you know, it's got a nice little gloss to it. It's looking good. Uh, what I do kind of like to do with these tiles is I just put the coloration on black and then just turn them down a bit. I like these to be a little bit darker. And then maybe we'll just throw the displacement one on there. It's not that big of a deal, but might as well. So I'll just turn that up a little bit. Okay, so if we have a texture that we're happy with here, and, you know, we can play with the gloss or move it down, whatever. Uh, and that's what's kind of nice about doing this is that whatever, however you save the, the material, it's going to stay like that. So whenever you open up Lumion uh, and you throw the hardwood floor down, it's going to have the exact settings that you you um, you saved it as. And that's what I was kind of talking about, where if you have a big team that uses kind of the same textures over and over again, I think that this could be a really... Um, a really good thing to do because you can speed up your workflow a lot and also you know uh, exactly what textures everyone's using because if you kind of go through and spend the time to do this then 
the, I guess, like approved textures could already be loaded up into Lumion. And then whether it's like architects or interior designs, you're not fiddling around with the materials. You basically just go in, pop everything in, and then uh, you're good to go. So we have this uh, tile material. That's all ready to go. Um, we're just going to save this. So uh, I'll call this um, tile test 4K or 3K. I already made a tile test, but just for the purpose of this, we'll make another one. So what we're going to do now is you're going to open your file, um, your file explorer. I think that everyone's folder should be in the same place. I, unless you, you somehow save them, um, like you actually went out of your way to put them in a different folder. I think that they should always go here. Uh, so if you go into documents and then, uh, mine says Lumion 10.0, even though I have 10.3. So, uh, I think that it should say 10.0 if you have anything above just the 10.0. I could be wrong about that, but that's not too big a deal. So yeah, we'll hop in here and then we go to materials and then these are all your custom materials. So right here we have the tile test uh, 3K. Now, something that is kind of important to note is that this is not a like Lumion um, texture file, I guess. Those are like, the, I think they're .lme or sorry, LMN. Now, I didn't even know about those files until uh, last week, honestly, because we always just use these the sim and the sim in. Um, but I, I kind of like this because it has the previews already made. It saves all your um, all of your effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to select these two, and you do need both. So we're going to select these two. We're going to copy. And then you're going to go to your Windows C drive, I assume it is for most people, Program Files, and then we're going to find Lumion 10.x, whatever version you have. And then we're going to go into the Architect Edition, Project, um, Materials, Indoor, Tiles. And then now this is the actual Lumion um, native uh, material fo uh, folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click to a free area and I'm going to paste this in. And it's going to say, you know, you need to be an administrator. That's fine. So now those should be in there. And what I'm also going to do is just as a kind of a, a test. So poly tiles 02013K. Uh, oh, that actually might have been one that I already brought in. Is it? Okay, no. So polygon tiles 0401. Uh, so I'm going to delete these ones just to kind of prove that um, it, it does kind of edit them. So you can sort of prune the ones that you don't want. Uh, something else actually that I should kind of show is like what I thought was sort of interesting is when I was testing this out is that you can actually give your custom materials a polygon logo to kind of say that you know it is from polygon because Lumion just puts the symbol in the, the corner of the uh, the thumbnail for the material if um, it just has the poly in front of it. Um, I, I haven't found really any problem with doing this. Uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. Now, what you do have to do, unfortunately, is you have to close out Lumion and start it back up. Um, I did try kind of just reloading it and do a cut like other things like that, but it didn't really work. Like I find the best thing to do is just like close the program completely, open it back up. And then the tiles that we just had uh, should be there. And then also the um, the the tiles 04 that I just deleted won't be in there anymore. So for me personally, I think that I probably only use like, like if I use the Lumion um, material library at all, I probably use like less than 10% of it. Um, so I find that a lot of the time I'm just kind of sifting through materials that I know I'm not going to use. Um, what this can also do as well is instead of just having like the, you know, Lumion's like aluminum or something, you could basically have it so that you make five different variations of it. And then instead of having it in your custom folder, you can just drag it right in. So you can either kind of expand on the, the uh, library or shrink it. And I just think it's kind of good to have that sort of, um, I guess the customization ability. Um, so we're gonna reload the example, the Villa Cabrera. And yeah, I'm for, sorry for the load times. There's not, there's not much I can really do about that. It's uh you know, I, I, I figured that it's kind of a long enough that it would be annoying, but it's also not long enough that I could like really, I should go through and like edit it all out. Uh, but yeah, so if we go to materials now and I'm going to go to indoor tiles and now I just need to find where it is. I think it'd be at the end. 
Um, yeah, so poly tile test 3K, here it is. And now uh, it's in there. So, you know, I've basically taken my custom material and I've put it straight into the Lumion uh, library. Um, and you, so what you can kind of do is like, if you have a, uh, now you could put different texture resolutions in there. Maybe you have the same texture at like two, three and six K. So if you really need those extremely high quality shots, you can put the six K in, but then if it's like kind of off in the background, you just put the two K and that's kind of the end of it. Uh, so I'm going to do this with one more, uh, texture, uh, before I hop into that one, I just kind of want to show that if I can find it here, um, polygon, I think it's the O, so O six, yeah. And as you can see here, so polygon, we have the O two, the O one, or sorry, the sorry O two, O three, and then it goes to O five because I deleted the O four, um, and that's not really that big of a deal. Um, something I would kind of recommend is that if you are a little iffy on deleting some of these materials, uh, and you don't want them to kind of go away forever, uh, you could just copy. Um, the entire Lumion library. This would take up a lot of memory. Like I think it's like 50 gigs or something like that, but you can kind of have a sort of vanilla version of it where if you ever wanted to go and revert uh, back to sort of a previous time where all your materials were in there, you have that ability and you basically just take the folder that you were adjusting and the, the one that you created and you just switch them. And then you kind of have that, um, you have that good to go again. So for the last material, uh, what I want to show you is the I believe it was a brick material so it was bricks uh, is the polygon brick and th this one is free so I'm gonna link this below the video if you want to give this a test yourself so yeah so this is the polygon bricks um, 13 no maybe this isn't it sorry Ah, here it is okay so this is the polygon bricks 01 and this is a 2k resolution so it's not that bad um, this one does not have a displacement texture so as you can see we can kind of use relief but like we don't really want that I will uh, I'm gonna change this here go back to standard again and then I have the bricks 01 uh, just to kind of show you guys quickly the uh, bricks so it's this texture. And so for this one, I, I downloaded the 6K. Uh, you can use whatever one you, uh, you want. But as I said, that will be linked below. And you can give this a try. So I'm not going to make a gloss mask for this just because it's like it's just kind of a waste of time. Uh, so we're going to throw the 6K in here. Now, the 6K is going to come out way more clear than the other one. Just need to adjust it a little bit. Yeah, it's sometimes the uh, just always make sure the map scale is up a little bit when it's at zero. I don't know why, but it just kind of messes it up. Like, I think it's because it I think when it's something is imported, it always tries to make it a square. And I could be wrong, but I think the 6K one is um, not a perfect square. So, yeah, so that's a, like even just with the, the regular normal map on it, that's a pretty crisp texture. Uh, but I'm going to throw on the actual normal map for it because that, that was the first one was just kind of the original that Lumion uh, gave it. So I'll turn this down, the reflectivity down. And then I'm going to put the displacement on. And we'll put it like right here. And maybe turn the relief up. No, not that high. Yeah, if you are uh, planning on using... Um, <laughs> If you are planning on using uh, 6K resolutions, I would uh, just be kind of cautious of it because this is really big. Like I just wanted to show you kind of like the difference. So these are the same textures, as you can see. Like it's I don't know if they put like almost like a red tint on this one or why that. It, maybe just if you turn down the gloss. No, but th these are the same textures. So you can see the, what the kind of like the difference is already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this to the custom materials again. I'm going to call this. I think it was poly brick 01 I'm going to 6k so okay and then right away so let that save I think it would have gone through already uh, documents and Lumion 10 materials and here it is so here's our 6k as you can see that's a pretty big 
it's a pretty big texture so use it with a grain of salt but it's good to know that um, then I go to my C drive program files Lumion 10.3 architect edition project uh, materials outdoor bricks and then you just drop it in now I just want to make sure this might be near it so yeah okay so these should be right next to each other uh, inside of Lumion when I reopen it so I'm gonna close this one out and again sorry for the loading times uh, it is kinda of the I couldn't really think of a better solution and I just didn't think that cutting like 20 seconds of the video was really worth it um, so yeah as I kind of touched on before though this may not be for everyone but I do think that this is a pretty cool thing that you can do because I, I'm I haven't done it for this version but I do plan on going through and kind of uh, pruning some of the materials. Um, I think every time you download a new version of Lumion, you're going to have to uh, do this again. That's why I was saying it might actually be better if you have sort of like a second folder. And so in the case of uh, 10.5, I don't think that there was any new materials that came out. I think it was mostly models. But if those models or if those materials did come out, then you could kind of take your custom folder and then move that in uh, so that Lumion's loading it and then just drop the new materials in. Uh, I don't think that would affect it at all. You just kind of have to be careful uh, with what you're doing. And like I said, worst, come, like, worst case scenario, you just get all of the original ones back and then you just copy your custom ones in. So yeah, we'll hop back in Village Cabrera. Um, and then I'll just kind of show you quickly how... Um, just how we can apply those textures again really fast and uh, that's going to be it for uh for this video after that it's really not uh while it's not too crazy of a trick i think it's something that a lot of people don't utilize um because in reality like if you have a team of people doing it you only need to do each texture once and then you just save the sim or the dot uh sim file and the dot sim dot in file uh, and you can just copy and drag that onto everyone's computer or onto the server um, or whatever, and you just have more control over where your materials are going. Um, so yeah, we'll do outdoor. Just make sure I'm on the right thing. Outdoor bricks, um, and then polygon. Okay, so it's a little bit off, but polygon brick, and as you can see down in the corner here, that the polygon logo is there, which I kind of thought was cool. Uh, so yeah, polygon brick. 6k so we'll put this one on the ground this time and this is yeah this is probably going to take a second i wouldn't recommend ever using 6k textures while they look uh they do look pretty clean they really eat up the render time and then we're going to come in here and we'll drop that other one on there I think that was three yeah so um as you can see like you know you have the uh that really high resolution one and like this one you know it's not terrible like it it does work um and i would even recommend using as i said like the 2k for this one um but i just think that it's important that people kind of understand i, I guess like what lumion can do when it comes to these materials uh some people may not use it some people may find this really helpful um but it may lead to kind of finding out more stuff about lumion so i'm gonna leave the video here uh for now um, I am going to make kind of like a second part to this where I'm going to show sort of models and some tricks that I've learned about how you can kind of import your own models and then uh, save them not only into uh, the Lumion uh, sort of like the, the native library, but also how to kind of create your own uh, inside of the custom models and sort of the fastest way to do that. Uh, unfortunately, you have to like go through and in import every single model uh, individually. It is something that I mentioned to the Lumion team that it'd be cool if there was a way that you could mass import them. Uh, to be able to do like even just like 10 uh, models at a time, that would speed things up greatly. Uh, so hopefully uh, you guys uh, enjoyed the video today. If this helped you out at all, uh, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you already are, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, hit that like button. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a lot of fun making videos uh, over the past month. And, um, you know, I really hope that people will keep uh, stopping by and we can uh, learn a thing or two about Lumion together. So, yeah, have a great night and I will see you in the next video.